the most important lesson which we all need to know that how our life formed and why something is happening with the, with, our, with our life where we feel that we are not satisfied we are not happy why this is happening with us as per the quantum physics if we study the quantum physics then it also narrates that every inch of the universe is made through the energy level energy or thoughts if we analyze anything in our life we can understand it everything started from a thought then <clears throat> it comes to action and then the action creates our life our destiny so how our life built or on which pillar our life is completely stand on that is the pillar of your thought so now it's completely in our hand that how we want to transform our life how we want to live our life how i want my life to be look like okay it's completely in my hand mostly we used to blame outside situation mostly we used to blame relationship we used to blame uh, all the factors except our own selves that my life i'm going through problems just because of this person just because of this relationship just because of that man that just because of my boss whatever it is in which circumstances it is so every time we used to put a finger to others but we never realize that whatever is happening outside that also happening just because of my own thought how i am taking that situation how i am thinking about the situation and then how i am i am reacting on that situation i am just passing on my comments or on my or my actions over that situation so your life is just a complete reflection of your thoughts every aspect of your life whether it's about your education whether it's about your professional life it's your family life it's your relationship with your spouse your relationship with your kids your relationship with your parents with your coworker with your neighbor with your friends everybody every aspect if you are living a life then whatever you are facing that's just because of your own thought there is no else factor is responsible for that when we are ready to take the charge of this then can only then can only we work on it we can have the power to transform our life the way really we want it so first of all we have to understand that whatever is happening with me everything is just the reflection of my thought if anything which is happening and which i am not liking well, in which way whatever aspect it is i'm not liking or i'm not li- i'm not comfortable with that particular uh, event or that particular incidents which is happening to my life then i have to recheck my thoughts i have to check it whether my thoughts are clear about it because this is very very true very very simple and logical that whatever you are giving to the universe or you are giving to outside that will comes back to you it's impossible that a person is very very positive always having the positive thoughts never reflect any negativity and every time that person is suffering or something bad he is uh, he is experiencing something negative things it's impossible it's not possible maybe we can see that this person is so good why these things are happening how you can judge a person good or bad until you are in that place you can't judge anyone whether that person is good whether that person is bad you just have to sit on that person seat and then you can understand what ever the person is going through it so if you just can talk about yourself i can call talk about myself i can't judge comment on others i can talk about myself okay this thing is happening to me i have to recheck it why this is happening and if i am not comfortable with this then i have to check it whether my thought about that particular aspect is pure is positive or i am procrastinating i am sending some negativity i am sending some negative emotions if i am thinking in my mind about someone in a not positive way whether i am i am talking with that person or not 
whether I am in communication or I am, I am in contact with that person or not, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It does. We always think that okay, I have not said any bad word to that person. That why that person is reacting to me in such a negative way. I have not commented anything back to that person directly. That why that person is uh, complaining or uh, something, uh, putting something bad about myself. Maybe you are not communicated that person in word, but definitely in your mind you are communicating with that person in your thoughts. It doesn't matter that whether you are using words or text or not. If you are thinking in a negative way about that person. that frequency will reach to that person and definitely that person is also going to reflect the same negativity towards you so we have to very much understand very much clear about it using words or using text or just being in silent doesn't matter because most of the time our thoughts can't be silent every time it is working in our mind this is the checkpoint that is the time you have to check if you have the negative thoughts if if you have the negative emotions about any circumstances any person any relationship anything any aspect of your life you can't able to stop the negative thinking then you can't expect any positive outcome from your life it is as it is as simple as it is there is no complication in it you have to check your thoughts you have to check your belief system whatever happens in your life just forget about it now restart it with your with a fresh start now you have to when you know this the secret that how i can transform my life how i can change my life how i can stop uh, everything which is which in which i am not comfortable there is only one mantra or one point that change your thoughts change your belief system just refresh your mind with the positivity and stop putting the negative emotions from yourself you have to make it a habit it's not easy it's not at all easy controlling in your own mind or controlling your own thought is the toughest thing is the most difficult thing in this universe we can control anybody else we can shout on others we can put finger on others we can judge others we can use bad mouth on others but we can't check our own thoughts we can't control our own thoughts we can't control our own belief system but we are putting blame to others because we we are thinking that i have not used any words i have not said it i have not texted that and how that person can understand that what i am thinking about that person maybe consciously you have not spoken to that person or messaged to that person anything any there is no communication you have you don't have any communication with that person consciously but it doesn't mean that you have not said any words or you have not written any words to that person your subconscious mind also stop talking with that person we always need to understand that our life is the clear result of the thoughts which is going in our subconscious mind so if you want to change your life change the thoughts of your subconscious mind changing actions from the conscious mind is very easy and most of the time we are doing the same thing we stop talking we are not using any bad words or we are just stop arguing or something if anything wrong happens between the two person but we most of the time we won't walk the same way in our subconscious mind or the thoughts which is roaming inside your head for that person for that relationship for that office colleague or anything anything so we have to understand that our life is the clear result of the thoughts which is going inside our mind or inside the subconscious mind